Behad ki param shanti. Today we will discuss the soul science by comparing the power of soul with power inside the atom, and also how world transformation can be materialized through self-transformation. Self means soul itself, but not the body of soul. We will discuss the similarity between working of soul power inside a human body and atomic power inside an atom. This will help us to make effort to attain soul consciousness easily. This understanding will help to understand the working of soul inside our body and also to awaken and tap the energy of soul. This will help to improve our imagination power so that we can effectively use our intelligence to imagine the invisible world of creation inside us. This is the main purpose of supreme knowledge disseminated by Papuji, the supreme almighty authority in human form. Soul, which is known as Atma in Hindu scriptures, is very similar to atom in modern science in its working. The power of an atom is concentrated at the center of an atom. Similarly, the soul power is concentrated at the center of human brain between two eyebrows at the center of brain in a human body. The power of soul radiates throughout the body, and human body functions effectively to carry out various works. This is the seed of soul, the true identity of a human soul. In spiritual terms, we call it Swaman. Soul is just a point of white light blinking at the center of two eyebrows, which we all feel on many occasions. Now, if we consider an atom, the whole power of an atom is concentrated at the center of an atom, known as the nucleus of atom, and the nucleus of atom is surrounded by the electrons, which are in the form of various layers of cloud covering the nucleus. The electron cloud is vibrating in its space, in definite orbit around the nucleus. These various layers of clouds of electrons are similar to many layers of subtle bodies around the soul inside a human body. Everything is moving inside an atom, such as electron clouds are vibrating in their spatial orbits, and neutrons and protons are also vibration at the center of the atom. Similar to soul, is blinking in its seat between the two eyebrows inside a human body. The center of atom is the powerhouse of atom. It gives motion to every particle inside atom. Depending on the power inside the nucleus, the electronic configuration inside an atom is decided which determines the nature or character of atom. Every atom is filled with tremendous energy inside it. This energy is the cause of all creativity in nature. The whole atmosphere is filled with infinite atoms, and so also our body is. If we analyze the structure of atom, the nucleus of atom is at the center of atom, and multiple layers of clouds of electrons revolve surrounding the nucleus. One atom combines with another atom to form a molecule. Similarly, Many molecules are combined to form compounds, which may be in the form of solid object or liquid, or in gaseous state, depending on the law of nature. The process of combination of atoms, molecules to form various compounds, is known as chemical reaction. Every atom is obeying the law of nature while undergoing any chemical reaction. Similarly, soul inside human body is also working as per the law of nature. When one atom combines with another atom through chemical reaction, then energy of both atoms is shared between themselves so that a definite compound can be formed. This is similar to human souls. When two human souls interact, then also exchange of energy takes place between two human souls, and a new karmic bondage is created between those two souls which we can compare with the creation of a new compound between two atoms. Depending on the interaction between atoms, energy may be released or absorbed during chemical reaction depending on law of nature. Thus the environment surrounding the atoms is also affected by the activity of atoms. 
Similarly, the interaction of human souls also affects the environment as the energy of souls is transmitted to atmosphere during their interaction. The quality of atmosphere depends on the pattern of interaction between human souls. A cool interaction keeps the atmosphere cool, and a hot interaction makes the atmosphere hot. The energy required to remove an electron from an atom, or add an electron to an atom, is measured in terms of electron volt. Electron volt is the unit of energy of an electron inside an atom. In this way, when we go towards the center of atom, the energy of electrons increases, and the energy inside the nucleus is very huge, and many multiple times of energy of an electron. The energy of neutron and proton at the center of nucleus is found to be in terms of mega electron volts, which is trillions of times that of an electron inside the atom. This tremendous energy at the center of atom inside the nucleus is known as the nuclear energy. The energy required to separate a neutron or proton from an atom or add a neutron or proton to a nucleus of an atom is found to be in mega electron volts or giga electron volts or higher that, so huge energy is stored at the center of atom. So, the center of atom is the seat of energy, the powerhouse of an atom. This nuclear energy is harnessed by scientists to create atomic bombs, hydrogen bombs, for destructive purposes. One can imagine the nuclear power from the following example that is a hydrogen bomb, weighing only 300 kilograms, can destroy a country. In this way, many such bombs can destroy the whole Earth within a fraction of a second. Now, America, Russia, and other countries have so many atomic bombs that it can destroy the whole Earth thousand times. The power of nuclear energy is huge, and it is harnessed by human race for destructive purpose only. Now, we will try to understand the how the atomic structure also helps to store the data inside a computer. The whole memory of a computer is stored inside the semiconductor chips. Depending on the electronic configuration of atoms, the data is stored inside atoms of a semiconductor chips. The moment the electronic configuration of atoms changes the data stored in atoms also changes. Semiconductor is a solid object and its atoms stores data. The energy of atoms decides the type and quantum of data stored inside the chip. That means energy pattern of atoms decides the type of data stored inside the atoms. So, the computer, mobiles, and other electronic devices store data in atoms of chips with different electronic configurations. If energy is supplied into atoms, then data will be changed or deleted depending on the quantum of energy absorbed by the atoms. Now, if we compare with human body, it comprises of infinite atoms with a soul at the center of brain. Whether it is physical body or subtle body or causal body, everything is made of various elements or atoms with different energy states. The atomic configuration of causal body decides the type of data stored in it. According to data stored in the atoms of physical body, it decides the physical appearance of a human soul. Thus, human body is a data center. Every layer of body surrounding the soul contains different data depending on the energy states of various constituent elements or atoms. Soul is covered by many layers of such subtle bodies, just like an atom where the nucleus is covered by many layers of electron clouds with different energy levels. When we go towards the center, nearer to the soul, we can feel the tremendous power of soul. This is the inward journey of human soul, which can only be accomplished through yog or meditation. As we move towards center during yog, depending on the level of intelligence and purity, the power of soul emerges that is called soul consciousness. 
Yog is the only way to harness the energy of soul, which is similar to tremendous energy at the center of atom. Similar to atom, tremendous energy is stored in the soul. When it emerges, it can transform the whole multiverse. The knowledge disseminated by Bapuji is only to awaken the soul power. This is the unique meditation process with the help of supreme knowledge absorbed in human intelligence known as Raj Yog. The more the soul understands the supreme knowledge by constant contemplation, the intelligence will be refined gradually to a very subtle form when it will reflect the true power of soul. During this inward journey with supreme intelligence, when soul remembers its supreme creator, the almighty authority, then tremendous power pour into soul, causing the power of soul to flow into the atmosphere through body of soul. When intelligence is fixed firmly on its soul and its creator, then wavering of mind stops and mind is merged in the soul. Then gradually intelligence is refined to the subtlest form, reflecting the supreme light of almighty authority. Then soul realizes its pure soul consciousness. Then soul power is awakened, and soul power flows into causal body, subtle body, and also to physical body. This flow of power of soul in the form of supreme light transforms the atomic configuration of soul body and transforms the soul body into divine light form with gradual practice of supreme yog, that is Raj Yog. As more and more energy flows, it will enter into atmosphere and transform the atmosphere of whole creation. Through Raj Yog, the soul focuses on itself and the power can be drawn from its source or creator and can transform itself in a gradual manner. Finally, when tremendous energy of soul is emerged, then it will also transform the whole creation into supreme light. This is science of transformation of whole creation by transforming the self. Behad ki param shanti. Behad ki param shanti sojo bolo param shanti. Join us daily for live meditation, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. on YouTube Live. Subscribe now. Website www.paramshanti.org. Email us anand at paramshanti.org. Like, share, subscribe. Join today.